Thank you very much. Well, we just witnessed is a memorable event. Remarkable, it's the first time doing it as well. So it's a really easy and nice open up. Once again, thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you very much, Mr. Yohan. Thank you very much, Mr. Daniel Bay. Thank you very much, distinguished guests, for coming down here today, taking your time out to join us for this remarkable and memorable event. Van Ord operates the world's most advanced vessels. Our equipment is designed in accordance with the highest quality and safety standards. Trailing suction hopper dredgers are valuable assets in our fleet and play a key role in our dredging projects. One of our trailing suction hopper dredgers is the Vox Amalia. This vessel is fully self-supporting, has a speed of up to 16 knots, a maximum dredging depth of 61 meters, and can store almost 19,000 cubic meters of material in its hold. How does it work? A trailing suction hopper dredger is a vessel that can dredge sand, clay, silt, gravel, and even rock. Once the vessel arrives in the designated area, its speed drops to two to three knots and it launches the suction pipes. A large drag head is attached to each suction pipe. When the drag head reaches the sea or riverbed, the pumps suck the material mixed with water through the suction pipes into the vessel's hold. The dredged material can be used for land reclamation, coastal defense, and other purposes. The vessel can also remove material. For example, to prepare for the subsea installation of pipelines, cables, or wind turbine foundations. Or to deepen rivers and waterways to accommodate large vessels. Once the hopper is full, the suction pipes are stored back on deck and the trailing suction hopper dredger sails to the project site or offshore discharge area where the vessel empties its hold. This can be done in four different ways. The first way is to simply open the bottom doors and release the material into a designated area on the seabed. The second option is to pump the material through a floating pipeline. Pumps and water jets liquefy the material in the hole. A discharge hose connected to the bow pumps the material to the reclamation site through a pipeline. The third technique is called rainbowing, with the hopper contents being sprayed directly from the We vessel. continuously improve and adapt our fleet with the latest technologies to ensure that we are ready to meet any challenges the future may bring.